Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I will show you how to edit this picture like this. So let's get started. So this is the picture. And first I want to do color grading. So copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then convert it to a smart object. And open it with camera filter. And now I want to increase the temperature. And I think 17 is good. Through this temperature slide, you can use warm look or cooler look. If you go the right side, the image look more warm. And if you go the left side, the image look more cool. And in the tint section, I am giving yeah, 15 is good. And I want to increase the exposure a little bit. That's fine. Contrast 0 and highlights I think minus 83 is good. Look at this. It gives you more details. And I want to increase the shadow. It helps you to bring back the darker areas. And I am giving 25 for white and 30 for black and 20 for vibrance it will help you to add some color and minus 5 for saturation okay if you press Q in camera raw it will give you a before and after look and look at this you can now see the before and after if you again press q look at this it gives you a different before and after view press q for several time for different view i'm happy with this and after this basic adjustment go to the detail option and i don't want to do work with tone curve this time i will work later on the adjustment layer so go to the sharpening tool and just i want to add just a little sharpening i think I'm giving 8 and into the noise reduction I'm giving 5 for luminance and 40 for color that's good then go to the ACSL adjustment layer and come to the hue section here I'm giving minus 10 for red minus 4 for orange and then minus 50 for yellow and plus 8 for aquas and minus 60 for blues look at this it gives you a cyan look and then go to the saturation and to decrease the red little bit minus 15 for red also the orange minus 25 for orange and minus 85 for yellows and then minus 67 for aquas and minus 41 for blues and then go to the luminance and I'm giving 10 for red look at the skin I'm giving minus 34 or 32 for orange that's good and 45 for yellows then 25 for green and 15 for aquas look at this before and after it looks great then go to the split toning option and in the highlight section I want to add a little bit I think little bluish color so I'm giving 288 for hue and 10 for saturation and in the shadows I'm giving 247 for hue and all for saturation 
and then go to the effects and into the vignette option i am giving minus 18 that's good and then go to the camera calibration and into the blue primary channel i am giving minus 9 for hue and 12 for saturation so look at this before and after let us zoom in a little bit and look at this it looks okay for me so when you are done press ok so let's see before and after again this was the before and this is after look at this and i will give this preset totally free mm -hmm. i'm just asking from you to show some support just hit the like button leave your comments and subscribe you can also support me on patreon so let's go back to the edit and now i want to add a curves adjustment layer i didn't do it in the camera raw because camera raw curves has some limitation and in this curves adjustment layer you have lots of options you can use let's zoom in i think this is good and now click on this and select here 5 by 5 average this 5 by 5 pixel means it will give you the result of average of 5 pixels not the single pixel you select it will give you a average result let's zoom in a little bit and i want to make the bright area more bright so for this just click on this icon and select the bright area and just run like this I think this is fine and remember to change the blend mode into luminosity look at this before and after and now I want to make this area a little bit darker so for this click here and drag it down like this just like this not too much i think let's see before and after look at this before and after if you want to decrease the highlights area a little bit then just drag this point to the left little bit let's zoom out and see the before and after this was the before and this is after look at the skin but the effect is applied on the whole image so what you need to do now click on the mask and press ctrl and i to fill it with black and then pick a white brush white soft brush and paint over the skin just like this let's look at this before and after this was the before and this is after and you can decrease the opacity i think around 70 percent is good look at this before and after and now i want to create another curves and change it to blue and drag this a little bit down it will create a yellowish look the opposite color of blue is yellow look at this before and after this is the before and this is after so it's done and now press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to merge all the layers into a single layer and now i want to make the skin smooth for this i am using a action and you will also find this action on my description and it is also free so click on the action and just play let's zoom in and look at this it's too much i think 17 is good I think 15 to 17 pixel is good for any image I hope and I press ok and then I am giving let's zoom in more and look at this I think 6 pixel is good now press ok and now 
just paint over the skin like this and if you press and hold alt and click on the mask you will see the area where you paint and you can press and hold alt and click on the mask it will go back to the original image Let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is after. It looks really good. And as it is a smart filter, you can easily go back and change any value if you want. So let's check the before and after overall. This was the before and this is after. Let's zoom in and I want to enhance the eyes. For this, I am creating a curves adjustment layer and bring this point like this and press ctrl and i to inverse or fill it with black and pick a soft brush and then just click let's see the before and after this is the before and this is after it's really quick and easy and you can sense the opacity and now create a new layer and pick a black soft brush and just paint like this and to soft light look at this this is the before and this is the i think i should decrease the opacity i think yeah looks good let's zoom out and now look at this this is the before and this is after it's really good and now I want to add some more shine into the highlights area for this creating a another layer and change the blend mode to screen and pick a white soft brush let's zoom in and opacity 2% is good and now just paint Look at this. Let's see the before and after. This is the before and this is after. Look at the difference. Okay, I think retouching is done. And now I want to add a gradient map and I am choosing this and now just decrease the value of opacity. I think around 7% is good. Look at this before and after. It creates a warm cold glow effect. And now create another layer and pick a white soft brush. Flow 100%, opacity 100%, and just paint. Then press Ctrl and T and make it bigger and place it in this corner. Then create another layer and pick an orange color this time. Then just paint and Change the plane mode to screen. Press Ctrl and T and make it bigger and place it like this. And now you can decrease the opacity. Look at this. This is the before and this is after. It looks good. Now create another curves adjustment layer and make the famous three point. 
just like this and bring this point a little bit up just to give a matte look so i think this is done let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after let's zoom in and see this is the before and this is after so i hope you will love this video if you love this video hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe